Hello everybody, this is Steve Buse, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Cyberlink Power Director, and here we are in part five of our eight-part basic training for Cyberlink Power Director. Well, we've got a nice little movie going here. We've assembled some clips on the timeline, and we've got some audio, some narration, and some music. Let's add some special effects. Special effects are kind of fun. They can be subtle. The audience doesn't even know they're there, or they can be pretty extreme. Most of the effects for Cyberlink Power Director are found in the effects room. Click on the little FX button here on the left-hand side, and you'll see them, and you can see previews of them. If they have any motion, you can see the animation of the motion by clicking on them and then looking over in the monitor panel here, or the preview window to the right. And they come in a number of categories. There are also video overlays. Some of these are more in the category clip art. Many of them have animation, and you can add effects, for instance, like fire or smoke or even thought or speech bubbles. There are also particle effects, and these can add some pretty cool elements to your video, including things like lens flares, or as you can see, shooting stars, or floating fairy dust, rain and snow onto your video. But let's go with basic effects, and we'll select a clip on the timeline here, and then just drag, for instance, Chinese painting onto the clip. Now you can add as many effects as you'd like to a clip, and in fact, I'm going to just drag a couple more on here just for demonstration purposes. Once a clip has had an effect added to it or an adjustment added to it, you'll see a little eye over here on the left-hand side of the clip on the timeline. That's an indicator or an inf information indicator that uh, an effect has been applied. And then to adjust the effect, you simply click on the clip and then click on the effect function button that appears above it on the timeline. And that opens up the effect settings panel where you can see the effects that have been applied and you can make adjustments to them individually simply by selecting the effect from the listing and then making the adjustments. Now, any effects can be keyframed as well as adjusted. Now, when you adjust it, by default, you're adjusting the clip overall. With keyframing, you can make fine adjustments. And we'll talk about keyframing a little later in this course. With keyframing, you can make adjustments to particular points in the video. To remove an effect, all you need to do is just select its listing here and click the minus button. And you can remove the effects from the clip. These video overlays and these particle effects are a little more complicated. But they're a lot of fun to explore too. If you add a particle effect, for instance, if we add snow to our picture by dragging it down to an overlaying video track, you can see we get snow in our video. And if we were to double click on the particle on the timeline, it would open up a particle designer where we can control how much snow there is, how it's emitted, how it behaves, and those sorts of things. That's pretty high level stuff, but a lot of fun to play with also. Finally, I'm gonna remove the snow. One other thing about effects is that you can add effects as an adjustment layer. So I'm going to right click here on the track header to the left. I'm gonna select add tracks. And when I do, I have the option of adding additional video and audio tracks. I'm going to make both the audio and video track zero, but I'm going to add an effects track. And when I click that, we get an effects track here. And now when I add an effect to it, let's go back to the effects room here. Now when I add an effect, say for instance, the abstraction effect, I will add it to this track rather than to the clip itself. And I can stretch out the effect and it becomes an adjustment layer. It applies to several clips at once. So everything on video track one would have this effect applied to it if it were covered by that particular effect on the effects track. Effects, like I say, are a lot of fun. You can get out of hand with them really quickly, but they can do some magnificent things to your movie. And they're part of the fun of video editing. Now in part six, we're gonna take a look at keyframing, a very, very powerful tool in video editing and in effects production. Please come back for part six.